Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling, guys. So today, we're going to have another tall girl chat. And we're going to talk about some styling tips for tall women. You guys know I am a stylist, and I teach corporate professional women how to tackle vertical style challenges, utilizing a height of fashion style plan that I created. And this is so I can take any client from A to Z from their lifestyle analysis to their wardrobe analysis to their final piece of having their dream wardrobe, right? So I don't specifically only style tall women over there, but my personal Instagram page and my YouTube channel will definitely be geared more towards that because it's me. <laughs> um, but I wanted to give you ladies some styling tips for those of you guys who are 5'9 and up. Um, some things that we can do to still be stylish. For me, I think I shot up in about the fifth grade and guys, I'll tell you this. Being tall in elementary school is super hard. So I know that when I push out stuff on, on YouTube and Instagram about shopping as a tall woman, I wanted to also reach those younger girls um, because I don't want them to think that they have to look like everybody else and be frustrated of not finding things that actually go with their, their height. Because you guys know, trying to buy trends and stuff, it's just not easy for us. It's just, it's not something that is super easy and um, we could always jump on the bandwagon with. So, uh, first I wanna say, shopping for your body type. If you don't know your body type, you're going to have so much struggle with shopping. And this is for anybody actually, like petite women, if you are a petite woman and you're not 100% sure if you are petite, really do some research and figure out what your body type is. I guarantee you, you will be amazed at how you start to shop a little bit differently. So as a stylist, this is what I teach my clients. Like knowing your body type is the number one key in making sure you find clothes that fit your body right, okay? Because what you do is when you go shopping, you're not now shopping at all these stores because all stores don't cater to everybody. They don't. It just doesn't. They say all inclusive. We know they do not carry tall guys. <laughs> so uh, even for petite women and plus size. Now, I think I've said this before. I think plus size women have it really good right now. I do because I see a lot of really nice things for you ladies and I see a lot of you ladies looking fabulous. Okay. So that's the first thing I would say is know your body type to the T. If you guys would like um, a video, maybe I'll do a video on showing you how to do proper body measurements. Um, it's super easy, but this way you know how to shop for stuff. You know how to read the labels. You know that when you are looking at details, product details, you know what you're looking for, right? So second thing is trends. Trends are not for us. I'm not gonna say all trends, but one thing we can do to still be stylish is to make sure that we are always sticking to the color palette of that season, right? That's a really good way um, to still be stylish and kind of flow with the trends because designers do not cater to us guys. They don't, they don't, they don't. And I said this before, uh, brands that actually cater to strictly tall women, I personally don't like the quality of the stuff. so. I am a person that likes to take things to get tailored, I'll adjust things, I'll add pieces together just so I can still keep the quality. So think about that when you're shopping. If you get frustrated that you can't buy the latest trend, definitely go for the colors opposed to the actual style of something. That will definitely help you and make you feel like you're still a part of the trendy world, right? The third thing is know your bust size, your hip size, your waist, know all those sizes, guys. So your body type is one. Know your sizes, know your measurements. Your measurements are so important because it helps when you're reading those labels, guys. Again, reading those labels, reading those, those product details, the model, most places, they do have the model's height. That's a clear indication of if something's going to fit you. So for example, if it's pants, now if the pants are high waters, and they're not supposed to be, and the model is 5'10", and you don't want them to hit there, don't get those pants. Um, try to go for things that have an, in, an inseam of 34 and up. 
Um, if it's too long, guys, you could always go get it cut. The cleaners will cut you up real good, <laughs> the tailor, and, um, and get those hemmed up for you nice. Um, you could also try places that they do that do cater to tall women and try to get the best quality of the item that you're trying to purchase, right? Um, I think I said this a couple of videos before about my tailor trying to get her to do something with some jeans. I'm gonna try some stuff out. If she can do something that I that I'm thinking, then it's over. I'm I'm good to go. But make sure you know your body measurements, guys. It's important. There's a lot of women out here wearing the wrong bra size and underwear size, guys. So make sure you are fully aware of your sizes, um, jeans and stuff. You can always get pants taken in, guys. Never, ever buy anything too small. We don't buy inspiration clothes, okay? Um, inspiration clothes, they just sit in your closet. I've done it before. I'm like, it's a little bit snug. I'm gonna lose some weight. And it still sits there. So one thing you can do is size up and get it tailored guys i will talk about tailoring for myself forever because it helps a lot um find a great tailor is the fourth thing so finding a great tailor is something that i always recommend anybody do actually um and and again because this, when designers make things clothes it's not specifically for your particular body it's really for that model that they're designing the clothes on right so she's probably a zero a two a one who knows definitely not most of our sizes right so when they start mass producing these products they don't fit how you would like them to fit right um here's an example zara high street brand that everyone shops at if you read the labels in, on zara clothes they have things that are made in morocco china and turkey the stuff in turkey really great quality. Morocco has great quality too. However, most of the time, the stuff made in Morocco runs really small. I bought a blazer recently and I got an extra large because in my head, I'm thinking it's gonna be small because I had just tried on a blazer in the store made in Morocco and it was kind of snug. So I was like, okay, let me get an extra large in this one. But it was actually really, really oversized. I got it tailored. I did a video. I will link that somewhere. Um, let you guys see that. But she did an amazing job. It was fit to my body, and I actually really loved it. I didn't have to cut the sleeves or anything like that. I mean, crop the sleeves or bring the sleeves out. I actually wanted it to hit right there because it's such a classic blazer, and I loved it, guys. So find you a great tailor, guys, and it will make a world of the difference when it comes to your clothing, guys. And the last thing is, ladies, go slay. Okay, slaying. The term slaying means Get it, go go get it, right? Dress dress to the T for yourself. Um, stay authentic to yourself. Try not to be like everybody else, right? Um, that's probably why I'm not really a trend person. It's cool and all, but ever since I was a child growing up in New York City, it's just not something that I did. I just kind of went with what looked good on me. And that is the key, making sure you buying, you're buying things that look well on you, right? Um, like I said, all trends don't look good on everybody. People jump on every single thing that they see just to have it, but it doesn't necessarily look good on them. So those are some quick little ways. As a tall woman, I shop. I always keep those things in mind. Measurements is, like I said, you have to know your measurements and you have to know your body type. Like, it's important to the T. And some jackets and stuff, like... Let's think about trench coats. So some trench coats are long, but then they hit us at this weird length, right? And it's like, ah, we can't get it. So sometimes we have to go super longer and get it cut to where it's supposed to fit. It's just what we have to do. Um, I don't complain about it. It's There are some struggles that we have as tall women, but I don't let it like get to me and mess with how I dress. Um, Girl, when in doubt, just roll those sleeves up. <laughs> if you really like something, roll the sleeves up. If you don't like to roll them up, get it cut and cropped. That's a great, great tip. If you find that your arms are really long, definitely get your blazers cropped or just roll the sleeves up. But I personally like cropping better because it just gives it like more edge, an edgy look. So those are my quick little tips about shopping as a tall woman. 
Your measurements is key, guys. And knowing your body type is definitely key, guys. So let me know if you want to see more of these tall girl videos. And those of you who are new, I am Coco. And I am six feet tall. And I love fashion. Okay, guys. Um, I just like to always look nice and put together. That's really what it boils down to. Looking put together. Not necessarily always having to wear designer logos all over you. Just always look presentable, guys. Um... You know, I always, I say this to my clients that we're being judged because I work with corporate women. You're being judged even at your job. So if you're trying to go for a promotion and you've been going for this job over and over and over and you're like, why am I not getting it? Most of the time, especially if you're in the office, it could be your image. Um, I tell women that you are a representation of your company when you are there. So they have to know that they could actually send you out on the field if they needed to, to meet with a client, whatever, that you would represent the company in a really good way. So even in your real life, guys, your regular life, guys, when you're going out, you're being judged every single day. And here's the thing. <sighs> we, most of us don't care. However, when it comes to people staring at you, Oh my God, that will just drive anybody insane, right? Um, they'll stare if you don't look like everyone else. They'll stare if you decide to wear a bright color, maybe change your hair, maybe wear an afro for black women, uh, maybe color hair. It, it, you know, people are always staring. So give them something to stare about, guys, okay? <laughs> Make sure you are looking well and put together when you're going out. And this is just not to take away from anybody who may not have um lots of money because it doesn't take a lot of money and i say this all the time like you know it's certain things that you can do and this is why i, I do teach these women is because some of them don't make a lot of money but you you don't have to spend a lot to look good just buy good quality and it'll save you tons of money in the end and you will thank yourself and your wallet will thank you too guys <laughs> So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco will see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at both of my pages, Coco Styles NY. That is my styling page. And Coco Styles NYC is my tall girl page for tall women. And then my blog, Coco Styles NYC, which is my style blog. Um, tall women, just style blog, period. And then CocoStylesNY.com, which is my style and services, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.